Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So two things today, the first thing is the masculines are very tired right now, they're tired of their situation, they're tired of their life, they're tired of not stepping out of their comfort zone and making things happen and that's fully what they intend to do. Yesterday I received five emails, two from twins that have come into union and three from twins that came into reunion after a long period of time and one of our soul sisters, Katie, also shared on the commute, like on the comment section about her union too. So very powerful. So things are happening right now. There's a lot of action. So if you're feeling tired today, a bit drained, maybe a bit hot and sweaty and, you know, you just feel things are congested, things are moving ahead because once again, we've got roadworks outside, which is a big sign of movement and change. So things are being revealed. Things are being brought up to the surface. Things are being cleared away. Things have been healed to move it forward. So I want to give a big shout out today to our soul sister, Clara, for sending me this beautiful journey of enlightenment tarot. So we're going to use this deck today, the Beyond Indigo Divine Union deck, the signs and synchronicities, and I want to bring in a message from the big gun himself, Archangel Michael. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know? So what's the energy then today around Twin Flames? What's the energy around the connection today? I do feel the throat chakra is being like healed, cleared, you know, the way is being made now to speak the truth and I feel a lot of power around today. So what's the energy around the connection? There we go. The energy around the divine feminines today and the energy around the divine masculine because every day I'm shuffling. So let's see what the energy is around the divine feminines today. The energy there, I feel it's those two. The energy around the divine masculine today. And the energy around the connection. The energy around the connection. Amazing. And then we're going to do a message from Archangel Michael for the Divine Feminine. There we go. A message for the Divine Masculine. There we go. And a message for the journey. What do we need to know? Wow, powerful. And then we're going to bring in the Journey of Enlightenment Tarot. So we're going to do a card for the Divine Feminines. There we go. A card for the Divine Masculine and a card for this amazing journey. And yesterday when I got this deck, I gave it a good shuffle and the card that jumped out was the chariot. So another big sign of movement change, the masculine's taking hold of this situation, things moving ahead. And yesterday I was lucky enough to meet up with one of our soul sisters on the channel and her journey is moving ahead too. And that's through acceptance, through seeing through the eyes of love through understanding on a deeper level why all the delays flow in, especially connected with any karmic situation. You know, it's about really handling it differently by changing the way you see it and understanding that everyone is sent into this connection for our soul growth and healing, to move us forward, to help us to become stronger and to become the person that we were truly born to be. So what's the energy around the connection today then? I think you're amazing. So this is both of you mutually respecting each other and saying, I just think you're amazing. You know, everything about you is amazing. You turn me on. You know, you excite me. You give me a reason to carry on. I think you're amazing. And I didn't know what I was doing. So anything that's happened, let it go. You know, let it go, forgive, heal, because I didn't know what I was doing. And this is when the masculines are saying sorry to you and you know, sometimes they don't know why they say or do the things they say or do. They do it through a defense mechanism. They do it to kind of shield their heart and protect their heart and protect you, you know, from their lower energy or their lower self. I didn't know what I was doing. And that reminds me of the song by Brian Adams, Please Forgive Me. Please forgive me. I know not what to do. Okay. So sometimes we act through fear. And that's a reaction, not a response. And on this journey, remember, we learn to respond with love, not react with fear. So sometimes feminines, we react with fear. We say things that we regret too, or do things that we regret. You know, sending message after message, trying to sort things out. And the angels are saying that, you know, both of you are amazing. You've done nothing wrong. Forgive yourself. Heal the past. You know, I didn't know what I was doing. 
Everyone is doing the best they can at the time that they are in, you know, with the experience they are having, the information they have, what's going on in their outside world. So this is really a message to have compassion and to release anything from the past. And we've got time to move on. And this is to move forward, you know, to move on from any karmic situation, to move on from anything not serving the soul. So it's time to move on from the past. It's time to move on if you're holding on to, you know, something that your masculine has done to you in the past. Let that go. It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. It's a fresh start coming in right now. And we've got deception, illusion and hiding. So I feel this is a big sign the mask is coming off. You know, things are being revealed. The deception of the past has been healed. So if you feel your masculine has deceived you, you know, or hid from you, or, you know, it's all illusion. So it's reminding you that fear is illusion. There's always something else going on. And there's an apology here. I'm sorry, I didn't know what I was doing. I think you're amazing. So if your masculine has hurt you, done you wrong, no matter what they've done, they think that you're amazing. Everything else is illusion so it's time to move on put it away and get ready for a better future so for the feminine then we've got i'm dreaming you into reality so you're dreaming of each other you're visualizing and that's creating power so you're bringing this into reality through the thoughts that you think through working on self-love through trusting the outcome and really believing what this journey is and we've got share an idea collaborate and invent so it's a great time to invent or reinvent who you are, the way that you think, the way that you feel. It's a great time to work together as a team. So I also feel this is the feminine collective energy. This is us all kind of gathering together, sharing ideas, helping each other, collaborating, bringing in power. And we've got remembrance, memories and loss. And it's also about releasing or moving on from the things that have happened in the past. And you can see there you've got that gravestone. So this is about an ending to bring in a new beginning. You know, bury everything now. Heal it in your mind and then bury it, put it to bed. It's gone. You can't change the past. All you can do is accept it and realise that your future will be even better. And right now the masculines are dealing with this. You know, they're having sleepless nights, they're tired, they're feeling a bit drained and they're working out what to say and they're feeling everything physically and emotionally. So, you know, they're maybe a bit touchy right now, especially with people in their life. You know, I feel a lot of isolation around the masculines. They don't want to be spending time with kind of anyone in their circle of friends or if they are, they're feeling very lonely. You know, they want to go within the processing their information. So for the masculine, we've got, I'm taking action towards you. And that's exactly what's going on. So they are moving towards you. That's why when I shuffled the deck yesterday, I got the chariot coming out. I am taking action towards you. I'm moving towards you to take it to the next level. So it's a next level love. So this is reminding you that you are ascending, growing, that you are twin flames. There's a reason you're here. But this is moving to the next level in this love. So this is completion, fresh start, new beginning, progression, everything moving ahead. So the angels are very clearly saying to you today, it's time to move on. It's time to leave behind all that pain. You know, whatever they've done, they, they didn't know what they were doing. Okay, if they've hurt you, said things, acted in a certain way, it's time to forgive and let go. And we've got pay attention now. And this is what the masculines are doing. It says life saving, rushing. So this is their life that's being saved right now. They're being healed in every way. And, you know, they show me this like an ambulance. So this is about healing flowing in Archangel Raphael, being around them, guiding them, helping them to sort out their 3D world, to take action, to bring in change, to move things forward. So for the Divine Feminine today, yeah, look at this for powerful. Forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. So you have done nothing wrong. All you've done is open them up to love. You've triggered their spiritual awakening. You've spoke from the heart. You've been vulnerable. 
and you've been true to these emotions and that's fine you've done nothing wrong so if you feel that something's wrong you know maybe you're thinking if i had behaved in a different way if i had said a different thing would we be together now the angel's saying to you everything that's happened has happened this way for a reason for your soul growth for your learning and you've done nothing wrong so this is also about you forgiving yourself and that's what this time to move on card means so yes it means karmic endings and change it doesn't mean that you're gonna cut contact with your twin and forget all about them and move on this means you're moving on from the negative feelings or the negative thought patterns or the crazy energy that's dragging you down this is about forgiving yourself looking in the mirror and being proud of who you are and realizing that everything has grown you you know even when you feel that you may have being walked on a little bit and you're thinking maybe I didn't put boundaries up enough you have learned and grown through this experience so forgive yourself you've done nothing wrong he says I ask that you help me so the angels are all around you today helping you especially Archangel Michael I ask that you help me to let go of self-blame and forgive myself and just listening to this is taking that in so allow yourself right now give yourself permission to forgive yourself and I ask you Archangel Michael to help me to let go of self-blame and forgive myself knowing in spiritual truth that I've done nothing wrong that I am learning and growing and I am exactly where I am meant to be please guide me to remember who I am and to release any toxic anger or any fear towards others Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. So this is about you focusing on peace and letting go of blame. And that's going to also clear up the throat chakra and clear up communication because you're communicating with yourself that you've done nothing wrong and that you are safe and loved and protected. And the angels are healing you and helping you. So take your time making this decision. You know, if you're watching this thinking, oh, I've had enough of this connection right now, you're feeling frustrated, you're impatient or angry, let it go. Because your masculine is saying to you, I'm sorry, I didn't know what I was doing. And the truth is that I think that you're amazing. Archangel Michael, please help me to stay strong and relaxed as I approach this situation. So as you approach your situation today, feel calm and relaxed in the knowingness that all is well and as you approach any decisions that you see with the eyes of love not through the eyes of fear realizing that fear is an illusion and it causes harm and in spiritual truth you are safe because you are connected to heaven remind me to detach and step back allowing this situation to naturally unfold thank you for protecting me what a beautiful message. So the angels are protecting you as this situation unfolds, as things become clear, as you gain clarity. And we've got the King of Pentacles because this is showing you no matter what your divine masculine is tangled up in, they are sorting this out. So this is about releasing all that red tape, you know, all that fear, all the blame, releasing things that need to go, moving out of any binds or any tangled energy focusing on faith and power, focusing on what needs to be done. I feel this is a big message about solutions coming in for your twin, finding their way. For the divine masculine, we've got self-respect and honour and trust your feelings, very powerful. So it's really important right now that the masculines respect themselves by honouring and trusting their feelings, by listening to their heart, by focusing on love. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting me, guiding me and protecting me as I listen to and I act upon my feelings. So the masculines are going to be taking action towards you because they are acting on their feelings. And the feminine here is dreaming this into reality. Help me to understand and express my emotions with love. So they want to understand how they are feeling and they want to be able to express that to you with love. And that's for their own dignity and self-respect. They owe it to themselves to follow their true path, to follow their heart, to become confident and strong, to be the person that they were born to be. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me to see myself as you see me. So again, the masculines today are working through insecurity, 
fear of the way they look, fear of the way they are. And they're saying to you, I didn't know what I was doing. I'm sorry. So they're asking the angels today in whatever way that may be, that could be consciously or subconsciously, to helping them to see the self through the eyes of love, through innocent energy, because your masculine is innocent and they are fighting for this connection as much as you. You just may not see it physically, but behind the scenes, it's all going on. And the almost personal readings that I did, I did one on Pixie Power and one here, all indicating about this mutual kind of working together and this healing to bring it together. So Archangel Michael is around your twin, helping them to see through the eyes of love. Thank you for helping to see, to see myself. See how they can't get the words out. This is why they're asking for help to express this. They find it very hard to be vulnerable, to take off that mask because, you know, they're afraid of being hurt. They're afraid of the consequences. You know, they're afraid of being left behind. They're afraid of looking like a fool. And this is all things we go through as a divine feminine too. But for the masculines, because they are dealing with ego on a very powerful level, because it's their mission and their journey to release the ego. The feminines do that quite easily. You know, the feminines journey is to surrender. Okay, yes, the ego brings in, you know, the struggle of surrendering, the fear. But the masculines have to overcome big core belief systems from childhood, the way they've been brought up, the things they've taken in from society. And it, they struggle with this. So they are asking the angels to help them to see through the eyes of love and to realize what love is. And you've come into their life like an angel that's been heaven sent to show them true love, to help them understand what unconditional love is with no conditioning, no pressure you know, no need for something now. Thank you for honouring and respecting me. And I feel that's what your masculine is saying to you from their higher self. You know, thank you for honouring me and respecting me. And the way you honour them is by being you, you know, by feeling the love and knowing this is real, by being loyal, by understanding what the connection is. That's the way you honour them. And you honour them by being your true self. By trusting the journey, you honour them by trusting them and respecting them. And the way you respect them is respecting the time it takes them to understand, the time it takes them to grow by not blaming them and releasing any blame or fear around that and focusing on the love seen through the eyes of love. So your masculine is thanking you today for respecting them. Please guide me to do the same for myself. So the angels are asking, well, the angels are here asking them to kind of respect themselves. So I feel this is a message where the angels are guiding them through signs, synchronicities, things they overhear to respect themselves by following their heart and by tuning into their truth. And I gently, okay, I gently, so I feel this gentle energy here, I gently ask that you grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. So gently. So the masculines want to take this slowly. They want to do it gently. You know, they don't want to cause a big ruckus or a big fall out of, of pain and struggle and, you know, panic. They want to do it in a very gentle, calm and loving way. They want to heal things because they are a healer. You know, that's why they've come. You know, you are a light worker and so are they. You have a joint mission together. So they don't want to cause pain unless it's absolutely necessary. You know, and the masculines react in fear. That's why they hurt you, divine feminine. But everything they do is for your soul growth. You know, everything they say to you helps you to not take things personally. Helps you to rise through any fear and see through the eyes of love. Understanding what really is going on. So everything they say or do to you is a gentle way of healing you. And they are innocent in spiritual truth. So it's a reminder of this. And this isn't me saying all oh, the masculines are amazing. Okay, This is me understanding from a soul level, a higher perspective of what this journey is. And why the masculines behave the way they do. And why they run. You know, they run because they fear their feelings. They run because of the intensity of the connection. Because their inner siren goes off. You know, and warning bells. This is love. What do I do? I've never felt like this before. It's so intense. 
I don't know how to handle it. So I need to go inside and work that out. And if you want to know what the masculine's experience on this journey, go to the playlist. You know, I've done the Divine Masculine Journey to Union series. I've done videos in the Twin Flame All You Need to Know playlist about how they handle the journey, how they feel, why they ghost you, why they block you and do the things they do. They didn't know what they were doing because they've never felt like this or had this kind of love. And it's scary for them. So they act crazy. And they may seem cool and collected with everyone else, but with you, they go to pieces. You know, you make them weak at the knees. You make their heart melt. So Archangel Michael is around them, guiding them today. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I am surrounded by loving and kind people. So the masculines are asking for protection so they can do the right thing, say the right thing and change things accordingly. And we've got the five of pentacles. So again, this is a lack of fear, you know, moving out of the past. This is them needing to heal to bring in their future. So they release it. They need to let go of what needs to go. They need to stop blaming themselves for things too and handle things differently. So divine feminine, forgive today because that will turn things around. So forgiveness for the divine feminine and for the masculine, we've got honour and trust your feelings. So it's time that they follow their heart and soul. And for the journey, look at this, make a commitment. So it's time to make a commitment. So the masculines are showing this to you. They want to be able to do this, to make a commitment not only to you and their journey, but to their own self, to change things. And this is the feminine wanting this commitment in the physical world, wanting to walk down the street together as a couple and do things that couples do. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to heal me and to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, to my life, to my divine purpose and my divine one. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. So this has been open to everything that's happening and trusting in the love. And look at this, nine of cups for the connection. So we've got the dreams coming true, magic change and power. And because of this, I'm going to share with you, I've actually screenshotted the message from our soul sister Kate, because it will just show you the power. And, you know, if you go to the comment section of yesterday's video, you'll find this. So this is dreams coming true. And when we make a commitment to trust this journey, when we forgive ourselves, when we forgive our twin and we realize there's nothing wrong in spiritual truth, everything is as it's meant to be, your dreams will begin to come true because you're dreaming this into reality. Okay, let's find it again. Where is it? I'm dreaming this connection into reality. That's what the feminine is saying. Here we go. Okay, I'm dreaming this into reality. I'm dreaming you into reality. So Kate's commented on this video and she's put, it's happening fast for me, Liz. Moving in together. Finally got there in the end. All my love and positive energy to you. So she's showing here, she's in positive energy, she's feeling the energy of love and she's saying it's happening fast. She knows it, it's something she feels inside and it's happening fast because it's finally coming together. She said finally got there, finally, which means she's had a struggle. She's been through battle, she's been through fear, but she's got there in the end. And then she goes on to reply to one of our soul sisters. The pain and tears are signs that he is also feeling the same. So when we go through the pain and when we go through the tears, it's a reminder of this love. My DM has admitted to all his feelings throughout separation that have absolutely been precisely what Liz has said he was feeling this last year. So he's confirmed it for her. You know, when I'm talking about the masculine, I know it frustrates you sometimes when you think, oh, Liz you know, but my masculine has hurt me, betrayed me, caused me pain. Yes, I understand that, but they didn't know what he was doing. And I'm seeing it through the eyes of love because I've been there and experienced all angles of it. And as a twin in union, I understand the process of the why it happens this way, because the divine masculine has to grow too. You know, it's a growth journey. It's a healing journey to bring you together because you're not like you know, you're in a normal relationship. This is about healing humanity. 
You have a mission together to bring in the golden age. It's very powerful. She goes on to say, I've had, I've had pain practically the full 12 months. So for 12 months, she's had pain, you know, and the emails I received as well. These people have dealt with pain, struggle, you know, going, feeling like they're going crazy. The doubt creeping in, wanting to move on, you know, wanting to release the connection. But through it all, remaining strong because you are a warrior of love. So I've been through this pain for the full 12 months and I also couldn't move on or be with anybody else whilst he was playing happy families. So she's saying, you know, there's a karmic situation and he was playing happy families. In other words, he was pretending there was nothing wrong. He was trying to hide his feelings. He was distracting himself and he was, you know, kind of not being true to himself. And during that time, this amazing warrior dealt with all this pain she knew she couldn't move on or be with anybody else while he was with someone else and that's painful too because you think what about me you know it's okay for him to be happy or her to be happy with someone else what about me why am I alone and I felt that for a long time before I came into union you know I felt that I'd be single forever and I even started questioning thinking maybe that's part of my journey maybe I'm meant to be alone forever you know, and guide others. But the universe always has a plan and we have to trust. She goes on to say, but I absolutely promise you, I promise you. So that's, you know, that's her word there saying, if you keep the faith, you're not far away from reuniting. So she's saying you have to keep the faith. So this is powerful because this is a twin flame coming into union, okay, saying to you, stay strong, have faith. The pain it will dissipate, you know, it will heal, it will get better, everything gets better in time and the pain grows you, I promise you, she said, my DM is in awe of the glow I now have and the confidence I have, all thanks to the divine, so remember you grow, you evolve, you become stronger and the masculine is in awe of that glow because they see you glow up and they grow up, they find their way, Pray and ask the divine to help ease the pain. So remember, we are never alone. We can't do it on our own. You know, we're the one that has to change our life and walk through the door and make things happen. But we don't have to do it alone. I couldn't do this journey without the angels. I wouldn't be here now without the angels. Throughout my life, they've kept me strong. They've helped me deal with death, pain, separation from my twin, dealing with catalysts, dealing with karmic situations, all kinds of things. The angels have picked me up every single time. So the angels are with you and they say, pray and ask the divine to help ease the pain and ask for reassuring signs that they are progressing this journey for you behind closed doors. You know, even when there's no communication, behind the closed doors, things are going on. Behind the scenes, you may not see the results physically, but it's happening spiritually. And she's saying this to you. She says, all the best and I truly understand the pain and anguish. So another divine feminine saying, I resonate. I empathize, you know, I, I can empathize and sympathize with this because I've been through it. And that's also why I'm here because, you know, I've been through the pain and the anguish and the way it makes you feel and the frustration. And as a divine feminine, you know, right now in my journey, you know, we're waiting for, you know, confirmation regarding house moves and there's other delays going on and it feels frustrating and we have to let go and trust there will always be a plan, you know, that things happen to move you where you're meant to be, that maybe you get turned away from one thing because there's something better coming along and that's the same with the masculines, you know, if they arrange to meet up with you and then they change their mind at the last minute, don't be in pain over it. Be flexible and adaptable because it's going to be far better when you do meet up or you do have that conversation or you do come into, you know, reunion because God has a plan. So this is reminding you of that today. There is always a plan and the plan is to help your dreams to come true. So just like Kate said, be strong, be powerful. Remember who you are and this journey will move you where you're meant to be. Have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.